now you can generate really dense summaries using a prompt called chain of density prompt right with gpt4 so this is a work from our researchers at salesforce ai mit columbia university okay so the idea over here is that selecting the right amount of information to include in a summary is a difficult task a good summary should be detailed and entity centric without being overly dense and hard to follow okay so what they have done is that they have uh, you know they create increasingly dense gpt summaries with something called as chain of density prompt so gpt4 generates an initial entity sparse summary before iteratively incorporating missed salient entities without increasing the length of the summaries okay now the summaries generated by this chain of density prompt are more abstractive exhibit more fusion and have less of a bias uh, lead bias than gpt4 summaries generated by a vanilla prompt okay what they are saying is that when they did this chain of density prompt and they did a human preference study uh, they find that humans prefer gpt4 summaries that are more dense than those generated by a vanilla prompt and almost as dense as human written summaries so this particular chain of density prompt is actually improving your summaries okay so that prompt is very simple uh, the prompt is that you have an article okay uh, basically here you fill in the article text within this uh, quote right within these brackets right and then this is the prompt okay the prompt has two steps okay the first step is to identify one or uh, three informative entities from the article which are missing from the previously generated summary step 2 is write a new denser summary of identical length which covers every entity and detail from the previous summary plus the missing entities and these steps are repeated the step 1 and step 2 is repeated five times okay now what is a missing entity a missing entity is something which is relevant to the main story it could be specific descriptive at concise novel not present in the previous summary faithful present in the article anywhere located anywhere in the article okay now you have some guidelines over here the first summary should be long up uh, to 4 to 5 sentences 80 words it highly non specific and then you know you keep refining it so for that you have some guidelines like make every word count make space with fusion compression and removal of uninformative phrases the summary should become highly dense and concise it self contained okay that's the idea over here now i wanted to try it on chat gpt 3.5 not chat gpt 4 okay ideally i should have tried on chat gpt4 but then i don't want to take a chat gpt plus subscription for now but the idea is this right so i copied the same prompt okay over here and uh, you know in the place of this article basically i have copied a text article over here right uh, which is the formula 1 race of study right where uh, ferrari's carlos sainz won So here are some uh, you know from this article I copied uh, you know a paragraph over here like this right uh, the headline and plus uh, you know some other content over here right uh, so when I try that out with this prompt on chat gpt 3.5 it still gives me decent results so in it repeats the two steps five times right so in the very first time it is actually created a summary like this saying that Fer ferrari's carlos sainz won the Uh, grand prix ending red bulls winning streak with uh, charles leclerc passing um, for a ferrari 1 2 okay and then it says safety car something the missing entity it's williams over here because safety car was sent for this person now again it goes and then it pulls the second step okay where it adds some more um, details like you know a virtual safety car followed then the missing entity becomes virtual safety car um, that was the missing entity in the first one so it is added over here right then it comes to a denser summary of c max verstappen red bull driver hard tires it says that started 11th on the and finished 5th okay right uh, then the missing entities are again uh, lewis hamilton and lando norris which says ferrari's carlos sain won this this thing ending sain's led norris held second while hamilton third in a thrilling final okay and then you uh, come to the final this thing which says ferrari's carlos sain won ending red bulls Max Verstappen started 11th and dropped 15th but recovered to finish 5th. Okay? So based on this text over here where these details are present, okay? 
the first line says ferrari's carlo sainz won right and then it says like okay some details are given on how this victory was achieved based on that it actually generates this dense summary even though in this dense summary something is missing over here in the final one because hamilton was third so the fourth summary is better than the fifth summary okay over here and uh, somewhere in this paper it is also mentioned that uh, most of the humans prefer uh, at um, like over here they said that um, the fourth summary right half the annotators preferred the second last summary while others preferring the final one so the second last summary or the last summary are quite good when uh, you know uh, human preferences asked about the summaries okay they have given an example over here about the same thing the article discusses an incident which occurred in the chinese grand prix and then it says the, okay in the first step the missing uh, entities are fernando alonso so it gets some more details over here right uh, jensen button was driving for mclaren collided with this thing while they were waiting for 13 the crash caused something right the incident unfolded in front of who managed to avoid the coll uh, collision and move places and then it starts building up this summary okay and then it goes into this final summary okay that's the simple idea over here so at each step one or three additional entities are added to the previous summary without increasing the length to make for room for new entities existing content is rewritten using techniques like compression fusion okay so that is the idea over here okay so they have done a human uh, what you call uh, preference also and they say that humans prefer these denser summaries which is as close to as human written summaries so this is a short video on chain of density prompting uh, a new interesting prompt uh, from salesforce ai and mit and columbia university researchers with which you can generate denser summaries from gpt4 i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video